Good morning, interwebs. It is about 1.15 on Sunday, the 17th. And I've just entered, entered my cave. It's, it's a mess in here. It, that just feels like the norm anymore, right? I went to put in your memory card today and apparently it, it no longer reads this memory card. Thankfully, I already have all of the data off of this one, I think. Um, and I think my computer still likes this one, so I need to, to check it one more time, but otherwise, I guess I have managed to, uh, to kill another memory card, um, which happens from time to time, especially with vlogging. I put them in and out of the camera a lot, um, dumping footage, and so, yeah, they just wear and tear, right? So, uh, I uh, am drinking a cup of coffee, which I actually have not had coffee in, like, two or three days. I don't really know why it hasn't been like a conscious choice. It just, it hasn't happened. I've had tea, but even small quantities of that. So hopefully this will put a little pep in my step before each this evening. So I need to get on making the agendas for that. That is one of the, the leader things to do is to make the agendas. Um, but before I do that, I want to do a little bit of straightening up in here um, so that I can get a few other things done. I've made a little list of things to do for the day. Is it a little ambitious? Probably. But it does include things like eating lunch and dinner, which we're gonna do anyways, but they're on the list because I need to like, I need to know where they went in time. So, I don't know, I think it's doable. But one of those things is that I need to clean up in here and then the actual like area I want to focus on in here today is this shelf. That's the stuff I ironed the other day. It hasn't gone back up into the cabinets because I want to do it all at once. Um, but this shelf, I need to organize what's happening with it. Um, I'd like to hang that doily back up here because all my doilies fell. I should probably be nice if I fix that doily too. So those things need to happen. And I've also been working on my Necrosuemo sweater. I'm very far into the green. I finished the sleeves yesterday. So yesterday, um, Steve signed us up for Disney Plus because he wanted to see all the Star Wars things, right? Because the Mandalorian came out and, yeah, Star Wars, Star Wars, insert more Star Wars things. Yeah. So those things are all true. But I didn't really have any huge, like, desire for it other than the fact to make my family happy because of Star Wars, Star Wars, more Star Wars. Um, but then he pointed out to me that National Geographic, uh, you know, is one of the Disney companies. They have National Geographic things up. So yesterday we watched a documentary about the science fair, which I really liked. Um, and then we also watched a documentary about um, inside the Grand Canyon and some people that hiked like along inside like not at the rim or the usual ways people hike the Grand Canyon they hiked the entirety of the bottom so that was interesting we also watched a documentary about uh the Parker solar probe which I didn't know much about I vaguely knew was happening but that was super interesting and to hear about how they like built it and stuff so that'll be interesting we start getting more data back about that and oh and then you know because can have fun sometimes. Then we watched Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century, which I totally remember watching as a kid. Um, and the actress, I can't remember her name, who plays Xenon, also then played uh, Maxie on General Hospital back in the day when I used to watch General Hospital when I was pregnant and before I got pregnant with my first kid and then for a few years after. I used to watch General Hospital. I don't watch it anymore. Um, but yeah. I, I always like the actress. So that is a thing that we did. And while we were doing that, I worked on my sweater, which is quite the uh, quite the sizable mass now. Let's make sure I don't mess up the hank of yarn on my board. So I have, I've been working over ends. So I just have little bits and pieces that need to get clipped. But we went from the purples to the blues. And now I'm in the greens. And... Also, along the way, oop, did the sleeves. So the sleeves are all done. I tried it on last night. I'm very happy with it. So I'm making this more like a coat than a sweater. Right now this is like a a long, 
like a long tunicky sweater. I actually, I intend to uh, count rows and make a note of this because I like this length for a future project. Like I would like to make another sweater like this. It's not striped in this manner um, and probably make it about this long. However, I also want to use up a bunch of my yarn scraps and I'm only through the color green. So I'm gonna make this basically like all the way long, like down my legs most of the way. And then, yeah, I have some ideas. So that I will continue to put effort into. I actually think I might finish out the ball of yarn that I'm on. So I have this, this green that needs to go in. And then I think I'm gonna put the hood on because this is a pattern with a hood. And then I will work on the length because I want to see how my yarn plays out. Um, and that will help me determine, determine the length. So going at this sweater from like all different sides of the sweater and not in the order that the pattern calls for, but I am using, well, I'm beyond using the numbers. I will use all the numbers for the hood though, because I like the, uh, the way the hood is shaped on this particular sweater, which I think I told you I was making a different one. I used the wrong name. It's the Bracken cardigan is the one that I'm working on from Heidi May, the Velvet Acorn. So, okay, gonna go clean these things up, write my agenda, and, uh, and work on, on that shelf behind me. And then if I do all those things and, uh, then have the meeting tonight, I, mean, I guess we'll call it, call it a fairly good day. There's a few other little things on my list. If I get to all of them, then I will have had a super productive day, but I don't know. Yeah. A few things at a time, right? A few things. Well, it is very, very late and it's time for me to go to bed but I did manage to accomplish many of the things on my list. Did I, uh, I did the, the doily thing? No, but I was going to, and I'm out of the little gluey bits. So I need to get some more of those. But what I did do was I went through my fabric and uh, this I emptied out and I organized everything by color, so. This one's all organized, and these are all organized, so that's good. And I emptied that shelf that had been full of fabric and things that needed to be dealt with. Um, a bunch of it is in the wash. I had the first load that I washed is in the dryer. So progress is being made. I also listened to a ton of an audiobook tonight. I started listening to, oh gosh, Better Than Something. Something is better. It's a Gretchen Rubin's book. She's the one who did The Happiness Project. So I'm listening to that. It's very good. I listened to like 80% of it tonight. Um, and that's since everybody went to bed. <laughs> but I'm going to go to bed now so that I can get up tomorrow, hopefully knock some more of the things off my list. I actually, you know, I mean, by going through and organizing all the fabric the way I did, I actually did different things than I had anticipated, but I think they, they furthered my goals even further than I had had on my list for the day. And 4-H went well, and I got all that stuff done and all the paperwork and things I needed. So I'm going to call today, today a win. So. I'm going to go to bed, and I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty-night.